we're starting today off looking for a hidden waterfall. Apparently it's one of the few waterfalls left that are not really well known in Washington. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a difficult trail though. <laughs> not much of a trail. I don't know if I took a wrong turn. There was like a semblance of a trail in the beginning. Uh, now I'm just following the sound of water and hoping I'm going the right way. Ow. Oh, I think I found it. I'm gonna put my raincoat on because there's a lot of water coming off, spraying towards me. <laughs> All right, I am gonna go back up. I definitely took the wrong way down. <laughs> it's tough because there are like a bunch of trails that people have just made from doing this and they kind of meander all about and you don't really know which one to take. So you pick one, you hope for the best, and it doesn't always work out. But that's okay. Because <laughs> I think I'm on the correct one to get back. I was reading the sign, and apparently, the dude McClellan who explored this area, who the waterfall I went to is named after, um, said that it was utterly, this area is utterly worthless for any purpose. So, um, he's an idiot. <laughs> that's quite a quote to put in this area, but that's chill, that's fine, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Um, I am going to get some coffee, some iced coffee, and drive about an hour to a campsite that hopefully I am going to camp at, and hopefully isn't too full of people. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So I'm not actually camping here, 
but I was driving and then I kept driving and I went to the campground and I don't know why I keep trying to go to Discover Pass campgrounds because they always are crowded and I just can't do it. So then I kept driving and then I drove and drove and drove and then I got to a dirt road and then I kept driving and then it got really, really bad. But apparently there's something called Blue Lake, which is only a couple miles away. So I'm going to go hike on the road and then get to Blue Lake just to see if the lake is blue. Because it is early. It's not even noon yet. So I'm hoping that it's Sunday. So hopefully people will be leaving the campsites because people usually have jobs. Because I know people have commented about bear spray. I do always carry bear spray. I just don't feel the need to show you guys. But yeah, carry bear spray. You know, never had to use it. Knock on wood. But I have it. So in my mind, I do carry it, but I've always been kind of with the belief, if a bear wants to kill you, it's gonna kill you. It's kind of just one of the risks you take by going outside a lot. It might not be the prettiest lake, but it's, it's peaceful, you know? Something about that feeling of truly being in the wilderness. <laughs> Just me and the bald eagle that keeps flying around. Fun fact, Mount St. Helens, featured behind me, Actually, after it erupted, it formed the newest glacier in the world. I don't know why I know that. And I don't know what the glacier is called, but I'm pretty sure that it did. That is one of the side effects of the eruption. The glacier is inside the, the crater at the top of the mountain. So you can't actually see it unless you hike up to the top of the mountain. Maybe I'll do that someday. I mean, there's a whole bunch of pre-chopped firewood. I might just have to have a fire. All right, pierogi time. I'm so fucking hungry. I'm so excited. Well, it's probably gonna be like an hour to make them, but I'm excited. I assume people know this, but if not, pierogies are basically dumplings. It's filling inside of a dough, and then they're usually boiled and eaten. You can also boil and then pan fry them, which is what I like to do. And I, I used, so I used to think that pierogies were just eaten everywhere, but then I met someone from Texas who had never even heard of what a pierogi was. It's wild to me. And then I looked it up, and apparently... 68% of pierogi consumption in the United States takes place somewhere called the pierogi pocket. I just discovered this existed, and it's like mostly tri-state, northeast, midwest-ish area, that part of the U.S. Very popular there, not as popular in the rest of the country. But I love them. I do the traditional for me. It's the wrapper and then the filling is just potatoes and cheese with some caramelized onions. And then I top it with uh, some scallions and then I dip it in sour cream. I got a ball of dough. Now I have to let it rest. Look how cute it is. We're basically making mashed potatoes.
can't forget my rolling pin. <laughs> They're not perfect, but they're good enough. And it's my first time ever making them, so honestly, I think I did a pretty good job. Now I have to boil them and then pan fry them. Bugs are out. When they float to the top, they're done. We have a casualty. It's always funny to me that I cook more elaborate meals on the back of my car than I ever cooked when I lived in an apartment or anything. <laughs> Pierogies are so good. I mean, they're like a combination of all of the best things. Potatoes, love potatoes, cheese, onions, and like pasta basically, but like fried. Lots of butter. Well go. If you've never had pierogies, you don't have to make them from scratch, but I highly recommend trying them. I think Mrs. T's is the brand that's usually in grocery stores in the freezer aisle. Tonight's book that we are rereading for, I could not tell you how much, Pride and Prejudice. Be not alarmed, madam, on receiving this letter by the apprehension of it containing any repetition of those sentiments or renewal of those offers which were, last night, so disgusting to you. I write without any intention of paining you or humbling myself on dwelling on wishes which, for the happiness of both, cannot be too soon forgotten. I mean, it's just beautiful. And Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy in the five-hour BBC version of Pride and Prejudice. Perfect. Phenomenal. Can't beat it. Well, I've got nothing else planned for tonight. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. I got my gallon of water to drown the fire with, and I'm just gonna read and hang out and enjoy my campsite. Thank you guys for watching the random things I did today. I started off today going to a waterfall that feels like forever ago. I had a lot of fun. It was a good day. It was a very good example of just my life, so. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.